One Up Your Wife Wednesday. Cheers to Demon Energy. New Zealand's biggest, baddest energy drink. The Rock. We're in Auckland this week, and the Wine D is on the phone. Is it the Wine D? The Wine Dur. The Wine Dur. Wine's up the Wine D. The Wine Dur, it's Rennie, Rennie Hansen. Welcome to the show. Thanks for, Thank you. Thanks for nominating your sister for Wind Up Your Wife this week. This is quite different. Can you give us a little insight in, into uh, why you want to wind up your sister on this the week she's planning to get married? Yeah, she's getting married this Saturday and she's just getting more and more difficult to deal with. So I thought what better person to wind up than a bride seller. How about, where's she having the wedding? Um, at Mum and Dad's house. Oh, so she's bringing in a marquee, she's bringing in the food at the tables and chairs and yes, everything. it's all been organised, so... Food. It's got to be the yes, food, doesn't it? It's got to be the food. OK, we've found the angle, Rini. Thanks to you, we've found the person. Glad I could help. Why don't you sit there, and all that's required now is for us to find out this week what Jonathan Richard Pryor will be. Mitch Buchanan, also known as David Hasselhoff from Baywatch. <laughs> Oh, good afternoon. I was after Pally Hansen. Speaking. Hi there, it's Mitch Buchanan calling from the Swords. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, no, good. Um, now, I understand you've been dealing with Martin. Yes, I have been. And he spoke to you earlier in the week. Yes. When, is your wedding on the 7th, is it? It is, yes. Okay. Now, there's been a bit of an issue with Martin. He's now left. But, oh. But he had also actually double booked your wedding day. What? So what does that mean? Well, unfortunately, the, the wedding that it is double booked with has been booked for months and months and months and like a pretty much a year, basically. So we're going to have to do that over yours. What? You can't do this a week before the wedding. Well, so you had, well, on your menu, you had the scallops with the prosciutto as the starter, didn't you? That's right. And lamb or snapper as the main in the, in the petit four for the dessert. No, they're telling me they can't do it because Martin's double booked and apparently he's just left the company. Oh, you're this is just incredibly unprofessional. I mean, this has been in the works for months now. I appreciate that, and I completely understand what you're saying. But what I can offer, because obviously the original menu that you had booked for is quite time-consuming in terms of preparation and, and getting things ready and stuff, uh, what I can offer is I can turn up with a barbie and uh, whip a few bangers and steaks on there. Is this a joke? No. This has to be a joke. No. Did you just say f bangers and steak? Are you having an outdoor, it's an outdoor wedding from the notes here? Yes, it is an outdoor wedding. So a barbecue but would be sort of sufficient, surely? No, not at all. Well, it'd be good, sort of like I'd get, I'd, I'd get nice meat, I'd go to the mad butcher and that. It just, it's, it just is so bizarre. So we're going from a three course sit down meal to now you're offering me sausages and steak. What? I can do a pavlova as well. I don't care about the f pavlova. You can f off with your pavlova. Okay, but it would have like strawberries and stuff on it. But what about the sausages and steak? Ah, uh, well, you can f off with that as well. My... It's just so unprofessional. I can't even believe it. Do you not have enough staff to accommodate two weddings? No, not not on the same day. That's why we tend to just do one per day. Well, I just I don't see. Oh God. So who are the other people who are getting your service now? Those people have been booked in for a year, maybe even longer. But that's just that's just. So unfair. So because Martin screwed it up. Well, they were first I in line. Now, sort of, they were first in line. So we sort of have to apply the first in line policy. Um, we like to think of it as if you're standing in line at a bank, you can't sort of push in front of people, and the and the first of the line sort of gets first service. You know. Can I speak to the owner, please? Well, he's not here at the moment, so I'm sorry. Because of... you're you're not really, you know, you're really not being particularly helpful. You're just being very straight down the line and not very apologetic I, and you I'm, don't realise I'm, I'm so, how I'm, much this is kind of... I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart, but I am trying to offer a solution and that would be a, a barbecue. A barbecue's not a solution for me. Oh my how about, God. How about I offer you $500 cash? I'm sorry, $500 cash is not enough. I've had all the menus printed up. I've got people travelling in from overseas for this. Okay, how about I offer you $500 cash you get to stick with the menu that you've got. And I can give you four cans of Demon Energy drink as well. Who is this? It's Robert and Jono here calling from the Rock Radio oh Station. Oh, God! <laughs> you have to be f***ing kidding me. Well, yeah. Yeah, we Rainy. are. Rainy! <laughs> Rainy Hanson, you f***! You needed to have a laugh. Oh, shit! That is not funny to me! You're going to make me cry! Right. <laughs>
Bridezilla oh takes a laugh every God. now and then, pal. Is she, is she turning into Bridezilla, Reen? I she hasn't, but Jesus Christ. You know, I, I kept my cool then. I was pretty good. And you know what? I was just about to drive over to d- and burn the office down. <laughs> $500 cash is yours. Oh, are you serious? Yes, we're serious. Our, sp- our sponsor's Demon Energy, and we're also serious about the Demon Energy drink. We'll give you some of that as well. Okay. Hey, good on you, Rini. Good on you, Pally. Thank you. Okay, awesome. thanks. Wind up your wife. Cheers to Demon Energy. New Zealand's biggest, baddest energy drink. The Rock.